the worst generation are about to become the turned generation. But not all of them are chill like that. So in this video, I'll be deciding which worst generation members can hang for a night out and those that are banned on site. There's one member who's in the perhaps category. And if you can guess it right, then perhaps you should open Google Maps because I'm sending you the Addy so you can pull up. All right, that intro was almost as long as our first contestant, Mad Monk Yuruj. Having a jacked guy in the group is necessary. Let's say we get into a fight because hypothetically, I screamed, I hate those dirty fishmen. They don't belong on the surface, let alone this planet. If it wasn't for our Mad Monk, Arlong would have bitten my meat off. And that would suck because Yuruj's party trick is him using his Drake-sized pillar to measure and mark people's schlong length. Spoiler alert, his passion staff is bigger than his pillar. So this mad monk is joining us to become a Chad monk. You know what's funny? Monks don't show emotion, so mad monk is an oxymoron. And Scratchman Apu is a moron who's addicted to oxys. After getting a second circumcision by Zoro and Wano, Apu needed something to numb the pain. And numb the pain he did with his painkillers. Oh, not, not you, we'll get to you soon. Apu went from a screeching freak to a zombie that tweaks. He doesn't even use his body to make music anymore. He just sits in the corner and tugs one out, which sounds like an out of tune trumpet. Usually, I'm all for drugs, but with Apu, I'm all for wheel driving him to the nearest rehab center instead of the club. On the way back from rehab, I'll pick up Zoro, but I don't need to tell you guys that Zoro drinks like a fish and Bro can handle himself after drinking from the handle. Unlike Kaido who has seven alter egos when he's drunk, Zoro is always chill. Whatever you do, do not go shot for shot with Zoro. He always wins and you're gonna end up more embarrassed than when Yuruj took your measurement. The one negative is that he always wanders the fuck off. But whether it's getting lost in the sauce or just lost in general, Zoro can always find his way into our squad and Law carries his whole squad. So let's talk about him next. Trafalgar D. Lit gets all the chicks. I don't know if it's his tattoos, pants, or aura, but all the girls make room in their womb for him. Now, Yuruja's party trick is cool and all, but he's a one-trick pony. Fun fact, one-trick pony is also the name for the ketamine we do when we go out. But Law is full of tricks. He can teleport us into the club if we can't get in. He can levitate us up so we can find the lost Zoro. And if by some chance Law doesn't go home with a girl, he uses his powers to make me and him switch bodies. This way, I can f myself in his body, which doesn't make it gay, because I'm just touching myself. Long story short, Law can hang and bang with us. And I'm gonna bang my chest with Luffy while he goes into gear 5. Luffy is a party animal. I mean, his first name is Monkey. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just did a line of one trick pony and it makes me act like a horse. And horsing around is exactly what we'll do with Luffy. I can just imagine me and Luffy dancing all night on the rubber floor he made. After that, our squad will triple in size cause Luffy makes friends with every single person. And before we go home, Luffy and me are fucking up the taco food truck harder than me f***ing myself in Law's body. Before he becomes king of pirates, he'll be our king of partying. But is it really a party without the laughs? No. So to avoid killing the vibe, let's tag in Killer. Now I f*** with Killer Heavy, also Killer Light. Miller Light really helped him lose some weight. You know how they say laughter is contagious? Well if I'm with Killer and I'm with some liquor, consider me sicker than Dr. Q's anal fisher. Plus, if I get all hot and sweaty inside the bar, Killer can fan me with his arm blades. I gotta keep my distance though, cause I once got too close. And let's just say my measurement on Yuruja's pillar went down. But I'm down to clown with Killer any day, except Tuesday. I'll be joining a poo at rehab after doing one trick pony one too many times. I swear, I don't have a problem. I can quit whenever I want. Much like Bonnie, who can age herself up to whenever she wants. And that's a pretty fun trick. Haven't you ever wondered what you look like when you're old? And if you're an old person, haven't you ever wondered where the good times went? Besides her devil fruit, Bonnie's pretty cool. She dances like no one's watching, and she can eat as much as Luffy at the taco trucks. But we don't party with minors, unlike Sanji, who recreates Predator vs. Adolescence every day. Sorry, Bonnie. You're still a kid. Unlike Eustace Kid, who isn't a kid, but he acts like one. I don't know why this dude is always crashing out. Just take a bump of this one trick pony and you'll calm down. I'm kidding. 
If you touch my fucking drugs, I'll kill you faster than Shanks did. Kid is the type of guy who's always looking to scrap and also looking for scrap metal so he can use his devil fruit. Even though we have Mad Monk to protect us in a fight, I don't want to have to deal with the drama of getting kicked out of the club. Kid, I think you need to grow up. Start acting more like Eustace from Courage the Cowardly Dog. But until then, you're on the no invite list, which also means Killer won't be joining us because he follows his captain. But look at me, I am the captain now. And as the captain, I'm forcing Hawkins to join us. My Basil bro can tell you exactly how the night will go. I like to see my odds, so at the pre-game, I play a little game. For example, what's the probability I pull a baddie tonight? Impossible, 0%. What's the probability I relapse and do some one-trick pony tonight? Certain, 100%. What's the probability of drawing exactly two aces and three kings from a thoroughly shuffled deck of 52 playing cards when you draw five cards without replacement? Guys, this isn't part of the joke. I just need some help with my math homework, so put the answer in the comments. And I've commented enough about Hawkins, so he will be added to the group chat. I hope while making the group chat, I don't accidentally add in my ex or ex Drake. I'm conflicted about Drake. On the one hand, he sets a new record on Yuruja's pillar when he's in dino form. But on the other hand, he's kind of boring. He doesn't drink, doesn't dance, doesn't do one trick pony. Just like me. I, I, I don't do that stuff. Me. Even in his dino form, he doesn't let me slide down his back like Fred Flintstone because he says it tickles. So X Drake, you can stay in Marvin's room because you're not joining us. All right, next up, we got Blackbeard, the man with two devil fruits and three nuts. A lot of you would immediately say no to Blackbeard, but hold your horses and I'll hold my one trick pony for safekeeping. Blackbeard knows how to get down. Have you seen the functions he throws on Pirate Island? They're lit as fuck. He's got the baddies, the booze, and the whole island is a fucking person. Blackbeard and me are partying like it's the end of days, which could be pretty soon since he might stab me in the back. So if it's between having the time of my life and having a life, then I'm not sure and I'll put Blackbeard as a maybe. And maybe rhymes with baby, which Capone Beige just had, but he gets a sitter so he can get down on the liquor. My man Capone Beige literally brings the party by pulling up with 50 bros. Only other person that could have 50 men inside of them is the twink Sanji. Also, he's always got a freshly rolled Cuban. Now I don't smoke in front of his kids, but when he lights one up outside, I can't say no. Plus, if we get too wasted, not a problem because we have a portable home we can sleep in. Call that castle crashing. So Capone Beige will be getting paged the details of the party. That's everyone. Now I gotta get ready to go out so I'm ending the video here. If you enjoyed this video be sure to like and comment so I can buy more one trick pony. Come on man I'll pay you back you know I'm good for it. And don't forget to sub, track the cards from the probability question and subscribe for more one piece and anime content. Bye bye.